What was your grandpa's name? Jim? All right, so, so this piece, all right, um, all right, it's going to be heavy. Okay, it's going to be heavy. I don't want you to be like, Jim, uh, his grandpa recently passed away, so that's going to be a part of what's going to be happening. Anything else? Idea? So how about just death in general? What else? Staying strong, death, birth, birth and death. All right. Wow, okay, here we go. All right, so we got birth, death, grandpa, staying strong, staying strong. I'm so thankful that I had a mom, because some people, they never had a mom, but they learned how to get a mom in the world they lived. Now there's a boy and there's a girl and there was birth. There's a woman's side and a man's side for what it's worth. I know that deep inside of me I connect with both because I am the parasite and I'm the host. When you die, you live. When you live, you learn to die. When you're born, you actually die. It's funny how when we are born, we need somebody to take care of us just like when we get old. We need somebody to take care of us. And then in between, we need something like a therapist. And in between, we feel emotions get embarrassed with the things that the society put on us and it's all imperative because I know because there's nothing that compares to it. There's something special about staying strong, realizing that you'll always get beyond anything as long as you're together. And even if you learn how to adapt to all the weather, then we can always be here forever, 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 ever, forever, ever. Yeah, as long as you understand that it was never. And as long as we know that we are all connected to one being of a sun that's up there and it shivers. And I know it from every spring, fall, and summer, and winter. I can feel my mother and father for what I give them. And so it's death, the way that we die. We try to cope with something that we learned is look in the eyes. I don't know what it's like. I know what it's like to lose a grandpa to Alzheimer's. He drank a little booze, but mostly he had something in his brain that obstructed the reality of himself. And I know when I watched him try to function, and it made me sad. It made me really mad. It made me feel like a little kid who was glad to have a grandpa and a mom and a family and not take them for granted and know that I'm a human being walking on this planet. And all I have to do is just look to understand it. And all I have to do is not try to overstand it. Stand here. Look at the mountain in the mirror and understand that I am strong like a rock. I know because I'm God. I know that we're beyond. I know that we're the king. We learn to be the pawn, but we're not. It's not natural to be inside of a habitat that's habitual because you know that you're a criminal to the ritual. Rabbit trap. That is that. This is this. My brain's a trap and I know what religion is. I know what a vision is. It's attaching to somebody you love, somebody that you learn to hug, like your grandpa or your friend. His name was Michael Larson. He was something that makes my heart spin. I know, because I love him still. And he's here right now. The way that I look at it, he still makes me smile. Sometimes he makes me cry. Sometimes he makes me friends. Sometimes I say, forgive me. Sometimes we make amends. Even though he's gone, he's actually really not gone. Neither is anybody that you've ever lost or anyone that you've ever loved. They're here. So give it up for your ancestors and all the tears and the blood. Put your hands up for the love. Put your hands up for the love that all of us feel when we stand and look up above at the stars at the dirt at the stars at the dirt at the stars at the dirt from the death to the birth from the stars to the dirt from my death to my birth from the stars to my dirt Missoula thank you Soak up every little bit to sharpen my bones. All grown.